Welcome to The Monk in a Nutshell. Newly arrived in Madrid, Antonia goes to hear a sermon by Ambrosio, who has been left at the altar as an infant and is now a famously celebrated monk. She meets Lorenzo, who falls in love with her. Ambrosio's closest friend among the monks reveals that he is a woman named Matilda, who disguised herself to be near Ambrosio. While picking a rose for her, Ambrosio is bitten by a serpent and falls deathly ill. Matilda nurses him. When he recovers, Matilda reveals that she sucked the poison from Ambrosio's wound and is now dying herself. At the point of her death, Matilda begs him to make love to her and he succumbs to the temptation. After having sex with Ambrosio, Matilda performs a ritual in the cemetery which cures her of the poison. She and Ambrosio continue to be secret lovers, but Ambrosio grows tired of her. He meets Antonia and is immediately attracted to her. He begins visiting Antonia's mother Elvira regularly, hoping to seduce Antonia. During a visit, Ambrosio embraces Antonia, but she resists him. Elvira enters and tells him to stop visiting. Matilda tells Ambrosio she can help him gain Antonia's charms the same way she was healed of the poison, witchcraft. Ambrosio is horrified. However, when she shows him a magic mirror that shows him Antonia bathing, he agrees. Matilda and Ambrosio return to the cemetery, where Matilda calls up Lucifer, who appears young and handsome. He gives Matilda a magic myrtle bough, which will allow Ambrosio to open any door as well as satisfy his lust on Antonia without her knowing who is her ravisher. Ambrosio accepts, without, he believes, selling himself to the devil. Ambrosio uses the magic bough to enter Antonia's bedroom. He's on the point of raping her when Elvira arrives and confronts him. In panic, Ambrosio murders Elvira and returns to the abbey, unsatisfied in his lust and horrified that he has now become a murderer. Antonia, grief-stricken at the death of her mother, sees her mother's ghost. Terrified, Antonia faints and is found by her landlady who asks Ambrosio to come and help. Matilda helps Ambrosio acquire a concoction that will put Antonia in a death-like coma. While attending to Antonia, Ambrosio administers the poison and Antonia appears to die. Antonia later wakes from her drugged sleep in the crypt and Ambrosio rapes her. Afterwards, he is as disgusted with Antonia as he was with Matilda. Ambrosio kills Antonia in her attempt to escape. Ambrosio and Matilda are brought before the Inquisition. Matilda confesses her guilt and is sentenced to be burned to death. Before the sentence is carried out, she sells her soul to the devil in exchange for her freedom and her life. Ambrosio insists upon his innocence and is tortured. He is visited by Matilda who tells him to yield his soul to Satan. Ambrosio again proclaims his innocence, but when faced with torture, he admits to his sins of rape, murder and sorcery and is condemned to burn. In despair, Ambrosio asks Lucifer to save his life, who tells him it will be at the cost of his soul. Ambrosio is reluctant to give up the hope of God's forgiveness, but Lucifer tells him that there is none. After much resistance, Ambrosio signs the contract. Lucifer transports him from his cell to the wilderness. Lucifer informs him that Elvira was his mother, making Antonia his sister, adding to his crimes the sin of incest. Lucifer carries Ambrosio into the sky and drops him onto rocks below. Ambrosio suffers for six days before dying alone and damned for eternity. The novel is by Matthew Lewis and was published in 1796. A quickly written book from early in Lewis's career, it was published before he turned 20. It is a prime example of the male gothic that specialises in the aspect of horror. Its convoluted and scandalous plot has made it one of the most important gothic novels of its time, often imitated and adapted for the stage and the screen. The novel explores the themes of temptation, Catholicism, harm to innocence and the conflict between good and evil. It also considers sexuality and the reality of the supernatural. The story can be compared to other high Gothic novels such as The Italian and The Mysteries of Udolfo, as well as modern texts such as The Bloody Chamber. Read chapter 1 of volume 2, How Does Lewis Present Transgression? What was the public reaction to the text when it was published? Research Catholicism and its influence on the Gothic.